Hi, today I have a review from Murder in Mind by Faith Martin. Murder in Mind is the 16th book in the Hillary Green series, the D.I. Hillary Green series. Now, I'm going to read the blurb and try to give you a brief description of the book. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's going to be kind of long because it's part of a blog tour and I'm going to try to leave some of it out so that I don't drag on. Here we go. Looking for a brilliant best-selling murder mystery with a feisty detective, female detective? Detective Hillary Green is solving the cold cases no one else could crack. Please note that this is a revised edition of a book first published as the work of a narrow mind. 75-year-old Sylvia Perkins was found battered to death in her home in 2010. The murder weapon is suspected to be a fire poker. Her grandson, Robbie, inherited everything, but he can't be placed at the scene of the crime. Who killed this harmless old woman and why? And what secrets was she hiding? Hillary has a new boss at a baffling, and a baffling cold case to contend with, not to mention a marriage proposal to consider. Hillary Green has returned to Thames Valley Police Headquarters, acting as a cold case consultant for the crime review team, looking into murders where, which the police have never been able to solve. She wasn't sure she wanted to go back, but solving crimes is irresistible for Hillary Green. This is a crime mystery full of well observed characters, which will have you gripped from start to the absolutely thrilling conclusion. I'm so sorry for the length of that. Uh, this was a blog tour that I did for Jaffe Books, by the way, who is a publisher. This was released on the 8th of October. It's a very brief book. I gave it four stars. As mentioned, this is book number 16 in the series, and there's one more left. It's not titled yet, but it is coming in, I believe, a month or so. Basically, my review is kind of long, but I'm going to summarize it rather quickly. As mentioned in the blurb, she is a former detective who came back to the force to serve as a cold case consultant. She has a reputation that is second to none with a great solve rate. Now she has another case of this old woman who was killed several years previously with very little clues, but Hillary is on the job. Also, Hillary is contending with a marriage proposal. She loves the guy, true, but she hasn't given him an, an given him an answer. And by the way, that's how book Murder at Midnight, excuse me, which was book 15 in the series, readers were left wondering about this proposal. Would she give an answer and would it be yes? But readers were also left with something else. Hillary has a new team. One of the team members is named Jake Barnes. He has some type of scheme up his sleeve. I, I shift over to discussing Jake because he's very well to do. He doesn't need this job, yet he took on a job. And right away, his actions were quite suspicious. This suspicious activity may lead to possible danger to Hillary. That's important to mention. It's also important to mention that we still have a cliffhanger at the end of this book, but the series will wrap up with the 17th book. It's a quick read, only 197 pages. It's a crime mystery, but it's sort of like a cozy mystery. Uh, it's written in an in earlier time where there wasn't the technology that there is today, the electronic means of serving, solving crimes didn't exist. So there was a lot of interviewing, a lot of policing, and it's a great story. I believe this is the third book that I read in the series. Yes, I came in late. Yes, it can be read as a standalone, but if you enjoy series, then by all means, look up the previous books. I will say that's about it. A very brief review um, it's a great book, great characters, and an easy to read story. My description, excuse me, my link to the book will be in the description as well as the link to the written review on my blog. That's it. I hope you enjoy the book. Bye.